blenders, cloth brushes are really powerful. So let's have a look at how to use those. Now to start off, I tend to duplicate the object that I want to sculpt the cloth on. Now with this, we can be a lot more aggressive sculpting and then once we're happy, we can bring all of these details back by projecting them onto our original mesh. Now to get a good result, what I'm first gonna do, I'm gonna use the grab brush just to extend the length of the fabric. Since I want it to fold on in itself, I need to have excess fabric. So I'm just gonna stretch this out both for the legs and arms. Now, once we have this stretched out, we can now push it back with the cloth brush just to create all of these nice folds. So every time you wanna add folds to a character, make sure that you add that extra material so I can actually create these folds. Now, I like to start off doing this at a very low resolution so we don't add any unneeded noise. We just want to have the big folds first and then later we can add more resolution and then we can add more of these smaller folds. Now, once you're happy with the sculpt, you can use a shrink up modifier with the project method to project all of this folds back onto the original suit model. So now you know that 